in multiple myeloma, the B cell is damaged and gives rise to too many plasma cells. These malignant cells do not function properly, and their increased numbers produce excess immunoglobulin of a single type that the body does not need along with reduced amount of normal immunoglobulin. Myeloma cells are distinguished from normal plasma cells by the presence of large nuclei that are often eccentric. Pathophysiology of myeloma, pathological and clinical features are predominantly due to tissue infiltration, production of paraprotein, impairment of immunity. Plasma cells secret osteoclast activating factor leading to osteoporosis and localized lytic lesions, pathological fractures, hypercalcemia. Paraprotein leads to increased plasma volume and hyperviscosity. Toxic effects on renal tubules are seen if there is light chain production leading to renal failure. Development of renal failure is critical as it is an important prognostic factor. Patient develop proteinuria, amyloidosis and rarely cryoglobinemia. Interferences with platelet function and coagulation pathway are seen in some patients. Clinical features, bone pain, pathological fractures and compression, anemia, renal manifestation, nervous system involvement, bleeding manifestation, amyloidosis, symptoms of hypercalcemia. Common sites for bone involvement, skull, spine, pelvis, long bones, spinal cords. Laboratory investigations for multiple myeloma, full blood count, blood picture, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, creatinine, serum calcium, urine bents John protein, serum protein and urinary protein electrophoresis, skeletal survey. High ES are often over 100. Blood picture shows marked Raoul Ox formation. Atypical plasma cells can appear in blood picture, WBC and DC usually high. Bone marrow biopsy, diffuse infiltration with plasma cells, more than 20% of plasma cells or more than 10% clonal plasma cell increase. Total protein increased, increased globulin, serum protein electrophoresis shows monoclonal band. Urine Benz Jones protein is double plus. Urinary protein electrophoresis shows monoclonal band. If you are interested in my video creations, please subscribe us on YouTube and feel free to give your comments.